Garden designer Leah Turner transforms destinations in every size and style. At home in a two-story apartment overlooking Zilker Park in downtown Austin, she goes for gusto in tiny spaces. A lot of condos and apartments, and especially in Austin, are gonna have one of two type of outdoor space. You're either gonna have a balcony or a patio, depending on if you are on the ground floor or an upper floor. And since I have both, it's kind of interesting. I've never had both to work with before. Upstairs, I think more about kind of entertaining. It's part of my living space. Downstairs, it's a little bit larger, but it opens into my bedroom, so I'm not gonna go out there and be eating meals or anything like that. It's definitely more just kind of a little personal private garden to look out on from the bedroom. I tried to make the the balcony really match the inside of the house just because there is so much window going on. Originally I thought I would try doing white pottery outside and I tried that and I got all this pottery out there and started looking at it and it just totally clashed with the interior furniture that I have which is all kind of grays and blues and kind of earth tones and jewel tones um, and so I wanted to kind of recreate the same color pattern outside as inside. For contrast, as in any garden design, Leah mixes up container shapes and sizes. Part of it is just based on like what would fit in each holder and what, you know, how much space would permit. But usually I kind of try to think in terms of groups of three. So, um, you know, I'll spray paint three pots gold, or I think there's four out there actually, but um, kind of arrange them in groups of three and that helps keep things from getting too cluttered. I kind of just go off of instinct, you know, just kind of when something looks to be a little bit too busy, um, I just do a lot of moving stuff around and playing around and just kind of fine tuning where each thing will go. She relies on diverse foliar texture on her shady balcony. I use a lot of asparagus ferns and things in that family, the, the foxtail fern, the plumosa fern, the ming fern, the asparagus fern. I mean, I just have them everywhere because they are so such good container plants and so beautiful. I like to use vertical as much as possible. I use a lot of macrame. Leah also elevates pots by anchoring with metal clips. It's a bracket that's kind of shaped like this, and you just stick the lick of, lip of the pot in it, and it hangs kind of like that. They work really well if you have a terracotta pot with a lip. It has to have that, though. Add even more dimension by elevating containers. But you also have only so much room to kind of create a vista, so you need to work with the vertical element as well as the horizontal. And maybe in this case, I have more vertical space than I do horizontal. There are a lot of vines that you can use, but in my case, I have so much shade that the star jasmine is probably gonna be the best, and I didn't wanna use something like fig ivy because it could become a real nuisance over time climbing on wood structures. Downstairs, I've covered up an ugly fence with some lattice mirrors and stuff, and it's just a good good way to kind of camouflage and create a sense of it being a room rather than just a, just a patio balcony. I have three large trough planters downstairs and those are just my favorite type of planter. They retain a lot of water because there's so much soil in there that um, it's almost like putting something in the ground because you've got two feet of soil. At an East Austin tavern, she uses stock tanks to corral a patio against the street. In sunny spaces like this, she goes for yuccas, bamboo muley, and rosemary. Since containers dry out quickly in sun, be sure to water deeply. To protect her cold tender plants in winter, she installed 10-foot PVC pipes in the half-sized cinder blocks she'll fill with sand. So what I'll do is I'll just take I'll take the um, row cover and use clamps and just put it, you know, make a little poop house and move all of the plants that are, seem most tender under there um, for the winter instead of bringing them inside. 
Like indoors, Leah picks accents to complement and personalize her outdoor living experience. I like to use mirrors and metallics, kind of golds and bronze colors because they reflect a lot of light. They create an illusion of added space. I like to use rugs because it's just a lot easier than staining your deck or, you know, you can, you can cover things up. This furniture is my grandmother's and she gave it to me and it's, I just love, I love the wrought iron um, patio furniture. I just love it because it's so simple and they're kind of rocking chairs, they're really comfortable and then I just throw just a Mexican blanket over it and it's, it's nice if it's cold, you know, you can just wrap yourself in that blanket and hang out outside.